Okay, so in this video, I am going to be showing you how to load the data into Good Data using the command line. And the video that um, Good Data has here is um, geared towards Mac, Unix, Linux users, whatever. And I have a Windows computer, and I'm, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of others out there who still use Windows. So I am going to be showing you how to uh, do the installation, describing the data using XML, setting up the project, and then loading the data within Good Data on a Windows computer. So let's go ahead and start with the, um, the installation. So I'm going to download the installation here. And I'm going to download the, the most recent repository. Save this. I'm going to go and save this to my desktop. And yeah, if you have a Linux or Mac computer, you obviously follow the instructions up here. They're pretty much the same. And the Windows installation instructions are down here. Really the only big difference is for the, um, the Linux is you run the shell gdi.sh versus gdi.bat. Okay, so now let me go ahead and delete this out and pop this in here. So this is the um, the zip file that I just downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and unpack it now. Go ahead and open this up here. Extract all these two good data. GD. Go ahead and delete that. So all the files are in here. And the next thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have your, um, make sure that Java runtime environment is installed. And if it's not installed, uh, you can go to the Oracle website to do that. And then you want to set up Java home, um, environment. Make sure that your Java home environmental variable points to the, um, Java installation directory. So, um, in most cases, the, um, Java is installed to, uh, under your program file, so I'm going to go ahead and double check on that. So I'm going to go to my computer, drive C, x86, and there's Java, there's Java, Java Runtime Environment 7. I am going to go ahead and copy the path here. And then to set up Java Home, the Java Home variable, you go to Start, My Computer, right-click My Computer, go to Properties, click Advanced System Settings, Environmental Variables, then under System Variables, click New, and then type in Java underscore Home. I'm going to paste the path, click OK, click OK, click OK again. Sometimes um, you have to restart your computer for this to take effect, but I am going to risk it. And that is how you install it. And so now, let me see, let me go back and I'll show you what the next steps are. So after that, you want to describe your data. So go ahead and make sure you have um, a CSV file to use that has your data in it and that it's set up correctly with headers on the first row following below that with your data 
after you describe your data using the XML file, um, basically you're creating like a schema with the uh, XML file. You set up your project and then in step four you load your data on the good data. So in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, generate the XML files.